Welcome to Progressive Automation's video section. This is a continuation of the previous video where we showed you how to connect our wireless DC control box to a linear actuator. What we're going to do now is incorporate one of our DC speed controllers into the mix so you can control the speed of your actuator um, while you're using the control box. So in the previous video we showed you how to wire the control box. What we're going to do now is remove the power what we need is the power to go to the DC speed controller first and then over to the DC control box. So what you need to do is, as you can see, I've removed the positive and negative terminals from the battery and now I'm going to put it into the DC speed controller. On the DC speed controller, if you look carefully, you will see here it'll say motor and it'll say power. So we want it to go to the power end. You can also see the wiring diagram on our website and that'll help you follow along. Put in the positive and then you can put in the negative. Once you have that in, now you take it the motor end on the DC speed controller is what goes to your control box. So now what you would do is you would pretend that this is your battery going to your control box. So it would be the same way. The negative terminal needs to go to terminal A and A, and the positive needs to go to terminal B and B. And you have the actuator set up the same way it was in the previous video. So what I've done is I have a little wire going between the two terminals A and A, and then I just add this, this one from the DC speed controller. I have the same thing for the positive terminal. I have one going between B and B. And then I have the one from the DC speed controller. And there you go. Once you make sure your power is connected, you should now be able to run the control box and control the speed. Oh, I have a screw up. You want to make, be sure that you have everything connected correctly, because as you can see, if you don't, it won't work. As you can also see, I have the DC speed controller set to not move. So you can control your various speeds by turning the knob. You can stop it with the, with the wireless controller, DC controller. You can reverse the polarity. And you can make it go as fast or as slow as you want. You can bring it almost to a crawl or make it run at full speed. Now the speed controller is made to slow down your actuator. You won't be able to make it go any faster than it can going directly to the battery. This is only to slow it down if you want to slow it down. Um, you can find our, our wiring diagram at www.progressiveautomations.com or www.actuatorzone.com or if you have any questions you can give us a call 1-800-676-6123